not only did they lose a friend, a brother, <coughs> the world lost a legend. I didn't even know this man was this iconic. Okay, yes word. I did not know, you know. And the last time I talked to this egg holder of mine, and I want anybody to know that's watching this, uh, family, you know, extended family, her family, whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm going to say what I want to say because this is my platform. The egg donor of mine. The egg holder, excuse me. No, no, no. The sperm holder. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. Let me talk my shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. See? Today, <clears throat> I figured I'd sit here with my douce, you know what I'm saying? Grab me a shot of three and have a talk with y'all. Also, I'm gonna react to some of the parts in Nipsey Hussle's funeral and um, say what's on my mind, get, get a couple things off my chest, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's funny because the other day when um, I made the video I made about the little girl, seemed like I, were, I was getting through to some people. And I guess I always knew my calling was to talk to people and, you know, help people and just help them see something different or just give my point of view. That's it. Simply give my point of view. If y'all want to know what my goal is for YouTube, it was always to be better than Wendy Williams. Just to be honest. I'm not a Wendy Williams hater. It's just, I think that she could be nicer. You know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, she could say things in a different light. Or the light that they're actually in, you know? Like, she has an issue going on with her husband right now. They're about to divorce. And she had the audacity to not say anything about it. Nothing about his uh, sex scandals and nothing. And it's like, how dare you? Put out all these other people and you not put out yourself. I am so not with that shit. You know what I'm saying? I've made videos. Me and Jadir broke up. I'm crying on his shit. You know, say whatever happens, happens. And goddamn, you keep it moving. But anyway, this is not about Wendy Williams. Uh, a lot has been running through my mind. Because if y'all don't know, once again, YouTube has these recessions. And I said this the other day. And it forces you to create is what I do like about it. It forces you to create. And although as a reaction channel or as a, re, uh, a person that mostly does reactions, um, I feel like you can create or you do create through reactions. You know, you have to, we all react to something daily. You know what I'm saying? You on your phone looking at some shit. You like, oh my God, ah, ah. that's called a reaction. The difference is you were at home in your privacy I'm at home publicly and y'all see every fucking thing that I do or everything that I put out, you know, and that's the difference. Um, <clears throat> and it forces you to be different though. It's, it forces you to come out of a shell that you probably been wanting to break. YouTube is a, is a make or break platform. It exposes you. It exposes who you really, really are. If y'all haven't noticed. It's a lot of people that y'all don't have a liking to, you know? No point naming these people, but even myself. People don't like me. People don't like the things that I say. They don't like how I say it, blah, blah, blah. But these people are not in my shoes. They're not, they're not able to say these things. I'm able to say these things and let it be known. And you can agree with me or you can disagree, right? So... With that being said, something like this I probably wouldn't have never done. Um, and everybody think things are for clout, for money, shit like that. Have you ever thought that a person that is famous or a person that that is influential 
or non-influential, but they're just out there in the damn public. Have you ever thought that they might actually be going through something? Have you ever thought that they might actually not be lying? Have you ever thought of that? I do all the time. When I talk about these people that I react to, a lot of it is fun and games, man. These people get on here, they have fun and games with other people, so can you, right? But when it comes to the seriousness of whatever these people are going through, I have to take that serious. And I'll just let you know whether you made a good decision or maybe you made a bad one, right? Maybe. So I'm coming to speak about my flaws and what the hell I got going on. As I sit my do say. As an adult, I want you to know I felt what that little girl went through so hard. Because at one point, I was that little girl. You never know what people are going through, especially kids, you know. I always told my dad, I got a mind of my own, nigga. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. A lot of it I should have listened to. I agree with that. However, I'm glad I stood my ground. I became an adult. I actually started taking in the knowledge she was trying to give me. Now I'm in a better position. That little girl is obviously going through things in her home. Not only in her home, at school. She might not even like herself. <clears throat> but her bitch ass mama decided to expose her. And honestly, the whole boo-boo draw shit, I think is bullshit. Um, if y'all didn't watch it, I'm going to put the link in the description. Y'all go watch my last video about this woman bullying her daughter. But that shit bothered me. For the OGs, that's Royalty's World uh, members, the fam. They know my real mom didn't raise me. <clears throat> and you would think, even as an adult, you get over it, right? Hey man, fuck that. I got this. Till some shit like this happen. Nipsey Hussle died. Legend. Legacy. I mean, you start learning shit you never fucking knew. Then you start realizing life's too short. And then you start realizing, fuck. That could be me. That could be her. That could be anybody. So then little shit that start going on in your life, you like, bruh, that was worth that? No, no, that was worth that? Falling out with me over that was worth that? And I'm not just talking about her. I'm talking about everybody around you. Most people have misunderstandings. And instead of voicing the fucking misunderstanding, they rather just sit on the misunderstanding. And that is what causes hate, deaths, broken uh, relationships, uh, divorces, uh, you know, all that. Or a divorce, whatever. Probably made up my own word. But that's what causes those things because of misunderstandings. And it's all because you couldn't just say, bro, no, listen, this is where I'm coming from. Instead of hearing that, you you instantly in your feelings and I don't want to hear that and you don't hear nothing and you never hear anything and then it becomes a cycle. You know what I'm saying? Then you never know what anybody has to say because you're so caught up in here. You think it's all about you. That don't just go for her. That goes for a lot of people. I'm sure I've done it. We all have, right? But I just can't imagine not raising my own child. I can't even fathom it, you know? To have a child already is a blessing in itself. Obviously, I'm a little more on the I have a choice side. So I have a choice. 
whether I want to get pregnant or I don't. Straight people have a choice. They can have protected sex. Shit happens sometimes, you know? But I just can't see myself not taking care of my baby. And then, it's one thing to not take care of your baby, but then when they grow up, like Star, what's her name? Star, um, Sky, Sky. Sky from uh, Black Ink. She didn't take care of her sons for reasons that she couldn't. She gave them up, but she had somebody else take care of them. She gave them up, had somebody else take care of them, and she knew when they got older, she would be able to take care of them and give them anything they wanted. That was her goal. But she couldn't do it while she didn't have them. And they had to wonder for years, what the fuck? Not only that, actually see her on TV acting an ass or whatever, but eventually she got to the money and it's like, damn, you ain't taking care of me though, right? Yeah, you didn't. And now she has that relationship. So it's like you, you hear all these things and you, you ignore shit. Me, I ignore shit. I just let it go. If, if I can. I bitch about it, gripe about it, whatever. Eventually, I'm letting it go, though. I've, I'm now learning to do that more. You know what I'm saying? If you don't get it, like, I don't know what to tell you. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to your mama, once again, you see shit like this. But you don't know how. You don't know how to express this to her. You got to talk to thousands of others. And air out your dirty laundry in hopes of them to probably watch it. You know what I'm saying? I just know I brought this up several times. And it doesn't bother me until death happens or tragedy, you know? And the last time I talked to this egg holder of mine, and I want anybody to know that's watching this. Uh, family, you know, extended family, her family, whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna say what I wanna say because this is my platform. The egg donor of mine, the egg holder, excuse me. <laughs> no, no, no. The sperm holder. I just don't know how. It's like, it's almost like, how do you sleep at night? How are you even able to? They always tell the child, you know, and I'm grown, I know. But what I'm saying is kids that's going through this, that turn into adults. Technically, she's my mama, I am her child. So I just want y'all to know that's where I'm going with it. Your child is obviously affected by it and you do nothing so strongly about that little girl because when you've been in them shoes, that thing hit different. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly just wanted to make this to vent and let y'all know think that your your favorite person or your someone you look up to or whatever don't ever think that they not going through shit honestly your strongest friend should be the one you checking on all the time they got too much to deal with too much to take care of too many people to look out for not a love not enough people looking out for them you know what i'm saying they just always want you to do and and need you and at some point it'd be like god damn what about me i want to say that though though i'm going through all of this and this goes through my mind and all that i still find a way to hold my head up you know what i'm saying i'm gonna hold my head up and if you are a child specifically who i wanted to talk to if you are a child and you are going through this right now, because I, I know it's a lot of and you going through this, hold your motherfucking head up. <clears throat> hold your head up. One thing about life 
It don't last forever. <laughs> so certain things you just gonna have to deal with, you know? Um, but I'm glad that I could get this off my chest. And um, I want y'all to know I'm good, you know? I ain't hurt nobody. My brother got a wedding coming up in June. And of course they want me to come. And of course I want to go. Cause I fucking love my brother, okay? Out of all everybody over there, my brother, that's my nigga right now. My brother, I love that nigga right now. Um, she's gonna be there. I don't know how to approach this. Almost talking myself out of going. And it's like, why? <laughs> why would you do that? Go, be strong, nigga. Hold your head up, be the adult. Why? Why do I have to be the adult? Why? I don't understand. You had me, nigga, not the other way around. Why is it that the child always has to be the adult or somebody has to be the adult? My question is, when do the parents get punished? That's what I wanna know. Maybe I'll never get the answer. But I just wanted to express that with y'all through this video. Because this is very, very, very uh, bittersweet. Not only did they lose a friend, a brother, <coughs> the world lost a legend. I didn't even know this man was this iconic. Okay, yes word. I did not know. And another thing, black people, or people in general, don't start praising people when they die. If you don't know who somebody is, but when they die, you can't show grievance for these people? I don't understand that either. Like I didn't even know. I, I used to see him with Lauren London. I had no idea he was this raw. I would have been on him. <laughs> but you know, I don't listen to music like that or I'm just starting to actually, but I wouldn't have thought to listen to him. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But that doesn't put shade over my life. You know what I'm saying? Or over my heart of how I feel in general. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, Lauren London spoke at, at the, this darn thing. How many clips they got? They got three, that's good. She was telling um, a couple stories about how she felt and stuff. And I'm gonna react to this real quick. Child about cry. I was like, oh, she really, really loved this man, bro. For real. Like she really, really loved this man, bro. Let's get it. Probably never told him that. Morning and play music for the kids and light a sage and burn it around the house. Going outside would be uplifted and that we could handle the day. Um, you know, my pain is for my two year old that probably won't remember how much his dad loved him. Um, this is something that, you know, I never, I don't really understand, but I know that Aries always used to say that you can't possess people, that you experience them. And I'm so honored and blessed that I got to experience such a man. I know everyone is hurting, but I'd like to say something to my city, Los Angeles. Y'all from LA, stand up. Because this pain is really ours, you know? We know. 
know what that meant to us. We lost it going out. She got gutter on this one. She went real LA on this one. <laughs> we lost someone very rare to us, and we lost a real one. And we won't ever be the same. But in Hustle's words, because he used to always say this. The game is going to test you, never fold. Stay ten toes down. It's not on you, it's in you. And what's in you, they can't take away. And he's right. in all of us. Right. And to Amy is the love of my life. You know what it is. Grief is the final act of love. My heart hears you. I feel you everywhere. I'm so grateful that I had you. I love you beyond this earth. And until we meet again, the marathon continues. Right. That shit dope as hell. Well, that whole, you know, you can't possess people you can only experience them that's real right there a lot of people think they own people think they're their property but you're not you just only get the experience but I want to say I didn't listen to his music I didn't know him personally but I do know I can feel him today I can feel all that energy and I just want to say rest in peace, brother. And um, I'll keep my head up, get through my shit, you know? And um, yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all think we make you happy, but you have no idea what you do to us. And that's all I got to say. Have a good day.